We know the advantage. We've seen it from the beginning that Minter has. Size, strength. The advantage Curio has, hand speed, experience, needs to use it right now like he did the last round. Hand speed on the outside and experience, the confidence that he's been in this round before, Minta has not. In this game, nobody can tell you better than the great Sugar Ray Leonard and Diane McGuigan. 75% mental. Is the mental side starting to show itself, John, a little bit with the British fighter? That he slowed down so much in rounds that he's never been before? Last two rounds, there's no question about it. He's allowed QRL to dictate. The, the self-confidence has visibly ebbed away. And if Minto was ahead comfortably after five rounds, well, certainly for me, not comfortably ahead now. It might even, might even, all be on this last round. Could you know, be. Interesting, what a turn compared to just a few rounds ago when American team captain Sugar Ray Leonard admitted, as we were feeling ringside, hey, this does not look good for the Americans. But Curiel now with a late rally against Mitchell. And Teddy said it was the only opportunity after the sixth round. It's exactly how it's gone. And you know it's mental because you look at mental physically, he's in fine shape to finish up strongly here. Curiel's right eye, Teddy, is a mess. There's a nasty mouse on there. It's swelling up by the second. Neither one of these guys look too pretty, but Curiel's not worried about that swelling, not in the last round. If it was a 10-rounder, he'd be more worried. We knew this was going to be a hard fight today, and it's absolutely fulfilled out. Oh, and again, and we talked about the fatness of Minter's punches, even when he was getting the better of it. There's width in those punches. That means there's space in those punches. And Curio filled that space with a straight short right hand that pulled this fight out of the fire. Two minutes, 19 seconds unofficially, Joe. Ringside observers have Ross Winter seemingly in control. We did. But he had never been past six. Freddie Curiel smelled it, went after it, and got it. We talked about the counter-punching of Curiel, the faster hands, and the ability to punch in between wide punches. You just saw it right there. Beautiful right hand inside a wide left hook of Minter. Here's another great look at it. Watch the wide punch right there of Minter. Never saw the punch coming from Curio. Another look. Right hand right on the button, right on the chin. Minter never saw that punch. Last thing Minter registered in his head. He was throwing a big punch. Freddie Curio. Six years without scoring a knockout. Alan Mitcher in disbelief. The former middleweight champ here on their home turf to see his son in his moment in the spotlight. And it all crumbles in the eighth round. We talked about the predictability of Minter. He didn't pay a price early, but right there, predictably coming forward, Throwing wide punches, straight beats round. The straight right hand beat the round punch of Mento. What relief from Sugar Ray Leonard, the team captain, as Freddie Curiel celebrates the glorious moment. His corner told him, you need a knockout. You hear it time and time again before the final round. But on this rare occasion, the fighter went out and got it. For the official particulars, here's Michael Pass.